Good evening, all you folks out there in Thrash Pondo land. Thrash Pondo here, and I'm bringing you yet another one of my world famous installments of my ongoing saga to provide the best dad jokes money can buy and for free. But before I get started, I have to let all you folks know yes, we are doing a live chat tomorrow. I had a one week hiatus last week uh, in deference to the Super Bowl. But I am on tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Thrash Time, that's East Coast, for the rest of you. And all are invited, and I hope to see all of you there. All 7.5 billion of you. I'll settle for a couple hundred. But any case, oh, and don't forget, folks, like, subscribe, forward, and anything else you could do that you could think of that could support the channel. But in any event, top 10 judge, 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 judge. Sugar time. Uh, dad jokes installment. I have so lost count. But anyway, as always, I shall read them to you in no particular order. Number 10. Does anyone know what the most groundbreaking invention of all time is? The shovel. <laughs> I really dig that joke. <laughs> See, I, there, I really dig that joke. I all oh for one. Next. Number nine. Did I tell you about the time I was bitten by a radioactive lawyer? I now have power of attorney. Get it? Power of it. Next. Number eight. Oh, I was so disappointed. Last night I was making a Hawaiian pizza for Mrs. Thrash and I. You know what a Hawaiian pizza is? It's a regular pizza, but you add ham, bacon, and pineapple toppings. And it's like really good. And right before it came out, I burned it to a crisp. And I was so, I was shattered. I was despondent. I was beside myself. What I should have done was I should have used a Aloha setting. Yes, I should have used Aloha setting. <laughs> Aloha setting, you need now. Mele Kalikimaka Keone. Peace. Or should I say, Aloha. Next. Number seven. Do you know why scarecrows always make such amazing go to guys? <clears throat> because they are outstanding in their field. I say because they are outstanding in their field. I say. Next. Number six. Did you hear about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? He won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> the Nobel Prize. Oh, while we're on the subject, do you know why the Vikings were always screaming? Because their horns didn't work. <laughs> their horns didn't work. And uh, next. <clears throat> Number five. Oh, man, I used to love to go hiking on old bike trails, but every single time I did, I ended up getting run over. It was a vicious cycle. <laughs> I was run over by a vicious cycle. Uh, next. <clears throat> Number four. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. The other night, I was making a hot dog, and I rubbed my eyes while making said hot dog, and managed to get ketchup in both of my eyes. Man, I so shouldn't have done that. I guess you could say I've got Heinz sight. Technically, that would be not 2020. It would be 57 Heinz sight. Oh, and I know a lot of you thinking, yeah, you shouldn't have put ketchup on the hot dog in the first place. That was your first mistake. Thank you, Chicago. Next. Number three. <clears throat> Oh, did I tell you about, I finally talked to a dream analysis about this bizarre terror I have about addicts in my nightmares? She said, of course you two. They're always up to something. The addicts are always up to next. Number two. Oh my God, did I tell you about my new racing snail? Oh, it's so cool. Yes, I went out and got a new racing snail. And I took his shell off in the hopes that would make him go faster. All it did was make him sluggish. Yeah. 
Next. Oh, and the number one joke of this installment. <clears throat> the other night, Mrs. Thrash told me that I snored like a cowbell. I must have been walking in my sleep. I say, I must have been walking in my sleep. I have a fever. And I can't do it. No, I'm sorry. I can't. I <laughs> Christopher Walken says that sketch is the bane of his existence. He can't walk into an anything without people um, doing that bit to him. And he's, it's, it's stop being funny 20 years ago. And in any event, I'm still going to use it as my number one joke, at least for this installment. And that's all i got for you tonight. I will have the live chat for you tomorrow. Remember, 7.30 p.m., be there or be oblique. Uh, and until then... Be good, be safe, be careful. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all again very, very, very tomorrow at 7.30. Peace.